If you'd like to save yourself the struggle of going through all of your audio searching for those word gaps or shortening them, then this video is for you. Hi and welcome to Edit With Ease. This is Andrea and in today's video I'll show you how you can remove silence from your content by shortening word gaps. If you're anything like me, you have likely spent at least twice, maybe three or four times as long as techie people manually searching through your audio and feeling very frustrated because it literally takes forever editing out all those silences. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and do it quickly with Descript's silence removal tool. So if you're interested in following along with me in this tutorial, go ahead and click the link down in the description and you can get started with Descript for free. All right, I recorded just me talking about the weather here in Michigan. And I purposely put in some long silences uh, so that we can go ahead and get some practice in removing these word gaps. I'm just gonna go ahead and play it for you now. Today, we finally got some snow. I was wondering when we would ever get snow this year because it's been so warm. It is January and we usually have had quite a few snowfalls by now. <laughs> I'm happy that we finally have snow and I'm happy that we also had a lot of warm days this year. I just wonder how the weather is going to be this summer. Is it gonna be really hot? Will we have a drought? I hope not. All right, well, there were quite a bit of those word gaps here. So let's go ahead and clean this up and get rid of them. So the first thing that you have to do is locate this magical magnifying wand. <laughs> so go ahead and click here. And do you see where it says shorten word gaps right here? We're going to click there. And if you look over here, right here in the middle, it says zero of eight. So it found eight word gaps. And this is how you can control the word gaps that you're looking for. I have on here that I want to find all the word gaps that are 0.5 seconds or a half a second long or more. So as long as that word gap is at least a half a second, it's going to find it and it will put it over here on this right side in this list. And then I can go one step further and I will say that I want to shorten all of the word gaps that it finds to 0.25 seconds. Okay, so you just play around with these numbers, but I kind of like these numbers here because it um, makes my, my content flow better. All right, so I'm just going to choose one of these and I'm going to click it just so that you can see how it goes. It will play this word gap here this year because it's been okay you see that and now I'll click this other one it may be a little longer falls by now. <laughs> I'm happy that we you see this long space here yeah, it says that it's three seconds long. Okay, so you know how this part goes where you can play the word gaps. And I'll just say that you can shorten one word gap, the one that's highlighted, or you can shorten all of them. Okay, so to shorten all of them, press shorten all. <laughs> and look, just like that, they're all gone. <laughs> and so now I'm going to go ahead and play It's Cold for you so that you can see the difference. Today, we finally got some snow. I was wondering when we would ever get snow this year because it's been so warm. It is January and we usually have had quite a few snowfalls by now. I'm happy that we finally have snow and I'm happy that we also had a lot of warm days this year. I just wonder how the weather is going to be this summer. Is it going to be really hot? Will we have a drought? I hope not. Okay, so there you have it. That was really easy, wasn't it? And so now you have content that is shorter and more concise, and you didn't have to spend an hour or two or more shortening all of those yourself. If you're interested in more videos like this, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. 
I'll see you in the next video.